Who you know is more important than what you know. That's one reason why some engage in politics to secure lucrative contracts. It's time to know the most important person in the universe, the Holy Ghost. Whatever God has for you, your marriage, healing, salvation, finances will be channeled through him. In this best-selling book, Kakor Baden will teach you practically how to develop your relationship with the Holy Ghost. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Holy Ghost in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an e-book on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakrabaden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakrabaden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing a profound series titled The Art of Hearing under the subtitle, How to Recognize the Voice of God. Today, he shares the first key to recognizing God's voice, being in the spirit. Let's join in. Number one. For us to be able to recognize God's voice, you must be in the spirit. Who's your neighbor say, be in the spirit? First of all, you must be in the spirit. Otherwise, even when God speaks, you won't even hear to even recognize it. Very important. Why? Because John 4, 24, it says, God is a spirit. You know, it's like me saying that, uh, you know, for you to be able to receive a phone call, you must have a phone. Without a phone, which is an electronic device, you cannot receive a phone call. Because what happens is that when you speak, you know, the phone converts your voice into an electronic signal. Then it sends it up to a satellite in the air. And the satellite sends that electronic signal to the, the person you are calling's phone, who is also somewhere else also as an electronic signal. Then your phone receives as an electronic signal, then converts it into audio waves, and then you are able to hear. That's how it works. So, for, for, so you can talk to a phone. A phone can only talk to a phone because they speak the same language. They speak an electronic language. So phones talk to phones. In the same way, spirits talk to spirits. So, for you to be able to recognize God's voice, first of all, you must be able to hear it. And one thing that will help you to hear it and recognize is that you must be in the Spirit. Because in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, the Bible says, it talks about two reasons why. It gives two reasons. Let's look at the reasons. The natural man, the natural man means the ordinary person, somebody who just walks with, by his natural senses, what he sees with his normal eye, his ear. He's not a bad person, he's just a normal person. But there's a problem. Receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. And it gives two reasons why he cannot receive. Reason number one, they are foolishness unto him. Reason number two, neither can he know them because they are spiritually descend. So the first reason is that it says it's spiritually descend. In, in other words, it's a spiritual voice. So if you're not in the Spirit, you cannot hear it. So a spirit to spirit. That's the first reason. Then the second reason is that even if you are to hear it, it can look so foolish when God is communicating with you, you will think that it doesn't make sense. So that's why you must be in the spirit. Revelation chapter 1, let's read the scripture. Verse 10. This is John, the one who wrote the, book, the whole book of Revelations. He said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard behind me a voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So John talks about why he was able to hear God's voice or even recognize it. He said the key was, I was in the Spirit. So for us to recognize God's voice, you must be somebody that Every time, you must be in the Spirit. You know, as a normal Christian, sometimes you can be in the Spirit, sometimes you can disengage from the Spirit. But it takes time to be in the Spirit. It takes a lot of time. 
It's like a plane. It takes a lot of time for a plane to fly and maintain a certain altitude where it relaxes. Do you understand me? But when it is there 60,000 feet above sea level, it's relaxed. It's just going like that. But to get there, it's not easy. And I've realized from, from, from working with God and the Holy Spirit is that it takes a lot of effort to hit a certain height in the realm of the Spirit. And when you hit that height, make sure you don't go down. Because if you go down, it takes so much effort to get back to where you are. So when you get to that level, you must maintain it. So when the plane is at that level, it just maintains the speed and it's just relaxed. But when it goes down, it will, leave, it will need too much effort. So we must be in the spirit always. It's like, it's like the people, you know, when you drink heavily and you drink just a little bit of water in the morning, you get drunk again. Who understands what I'm saying? Oh, nobody, I'm the only one who understands it. Okay, uh -huh. David understands. Uh -huh. First time, uh, there are some people who understand. Who again understands? Bad boy, you, you are the one. You are the worst of them all. You can even write a book. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we learned that to be able to recognize the voice of God, we must be in the spirit always. Tune in same time tomorrow as this exciting message continues. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My dad still has his job. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you about my dad who was about to lose his job because of the closure of the company he was working at. This would have affected the payment of my fees as I was going to start my degree program. To the glory of God, part of the company was sold to another company, but the other part will continue and my dad will still maintain his job. Thank you for praying. God be praised. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counselling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.